Buddhism, you know, Buddhism gets kind of a a pass, don't you think? People love Buddhism, and you know, you go to California, and there's uh, people setting up little Buddhist enclaves so they can be neo uh, new age Buddhists and uh, you know feel good about themselves and reach out spiritually on a astrophysical plane that they don't really understand, but they know is there because they can feel the connectedness between between all of us it's, it's just so powerful to them that uh, you know Buddhism seems to embrace that to them and it's really a, a spoon-fed version of Buddhism that we see in the West that uh, makes it seem so peaceful and perfect the religion and really there's just ridiculous abuse going on in Buddhism too uh, fascism in countries in uh, Southeast Asia and ritual sexual abuse of different kinds uh, Tibetan Buddhist monasteries have long been the center of this weird thigh rape phenomenon that we've looked into having interviewed journalists who've looked into this and not for a short period of time this has been going on it, it, it peeps on to the internet now and again you'll see a youtube thing and it'll kind of be suppressed because no one wants to really look into it but thigh rape uh you know think about it um you, you these these poor villagers send their kids and consider themselves lucky to be able to send their kids to a monastery where these kids are going to get taught, they're going to get educated, they're going to speak languages, they're going to learn, they're going to be artistic, they're going to have a life instead of being a poor villager, uh, raising maybe uh, you know yak manure for a living. Uh, their kid's going to uh, uh, be an educated monk, you know, for the rest of his life. So these kids go in when they're really little, and then they're in this uh, you know enclosed uh, enclave of men only, uh, where they have to grow up and live and learn. And of course, there's no women, and of course, boys are boys, and you know, crap happens and uh, little kids end up being abused uh, and uh, the thigh rape thing is where obviously you just sort of uh, masturbate yourself between a kid's thighs and probably excuse in your own older weird monk's mind that you're not really raping a person it's not anal penetration but you know this poor kid has to grow up with this uh, feeling that he's you know just there to be used by older men and uh, imagine the psychological torture that goes with that for the rest of your life. So people have looked into this and no one's saying anything about it. There's also this shitbird, uh, Sogyal Rinpoche, Sogyal, Sogyal, forgive my American tongue, Sogyal Rinpoche, but I think Sogyal's a title so that he doesn't really merit because he's a shitbird. Uh, and he's basically a cult leader, so he runs these centers of Buddhism where people flock to him because he's this great teacher and apparently he's very eloquent. He's a, he's a I mean, it's like Hitler, you, may, you, you, you wonder why he got popular because he's so kind of just ugly and rumply and stupid looking, and, but he, you know, he has whatever oratory magic he needs to run these cults, uh, ostensibly Buddhist centers uh, where he just, you know, runs like a cult leader and abuses women and, you know, uh, is an absolute asshole to the people around him, is a power hungry freak who makes a lot of money and buys rich cars and, you know, has freak sexual parties with the people he forces into it who then feel like they can't leave, like Scientology, like any of those fucking ridiculous cults. This is going on and it makes a zillion dollars. The Dalai Lama doesn't say anything about it for, man, we're going to look into it, you know, I don't know, but uh, there's a lot of money involved, so maybe just kind of want to admit it, because just like with the Catholics, once you admit that there's a little eh, eh, eh going on, you got to admit that that's probably going on everywhere, not just one place, so he kind of doesn't want to own it, uh, on some level he's protected from it, I'm sure he seems like a decent dude, he's an old guy, he's the, the 14th, right, I mean, he's the Dalai Lama, if... You know, if there's magic out there, it's got to be him, right? He's the new Gandhi, right? So, you know, it's hard to lay it all out in his feet because people like him. But sooner or later, he's got to own it, you know? So let him get on YouTube, let him watch, let him come out and admit that there's a problem. And let's look into this uh, abuse in Buddhism.